guys, good to have you all back. I am going to do a quick, easy, fun project that anyone can join in. It is a beginner tutorial because I know there are a lot of beginners out there. Hi guys, good to have you all here. And even if you're not a beginner, I guarantee you're going to have fun. Yeah. So let me explain what all this is and what we're going to make today. I have a bit of a problem. It's called 6x6 paper pads. I have another problem that's called 12 by 12 paper pads, but that's a whole different story. I keep picking these up, uh, mainly because I love pretty papers. We all do. And they're very, very cheap. I buy these at Action. Uh, Action is sort of uh, sort of the Dutch equivalent to uh, the Dollar Tree and such. We don't have Dollar Tree in the Netherlands, guys. Uh, thrift shops and such. But I have a lot. Here's the problem I have with these pads. I find the, the size to be... A little bit difficult to work with they're also they're not um cardstocky paper they're just you know regular um copy paper weight um i guess and most of them are single-sided i also have some that are a little bit more expensive the beautiful ones that are from much heavier paper and double-sided i'm not going to use those today we're going to use the cheap ones guys because i reckon you have some yourself you probably have some yourself so I took one of the paper pads and I've been playing around with them. And I've been coming up with um, a couple of easy to follow projects. Most of which you already see me do on my channel. But you know, let's pretend that you have not seen it. <laughs> like making small envelopes. Yeah, making small envelopes. Uh, perfect from 6x6. Six six. Then, oh, these are fantastic. I'm going to focus mainly on these. I'm going to come back to these later. Uh, the coin envelopes. Again, fantastic. Made from 6x6. Six Pockets. You're going to make some pockets. Some small pockets with a notch or with washi tape. Also a thing. Yes, I'm going to mention washi tape a little bit later. Uh, the slanted pockets or the corner pockets. But just nice ones, guys. You can uh, uh, cut out a triangle and just uh, glue it on. But these are going to be a little bit more sturdier and just with a nicer finish um i have two of those of course you do and you can do this or this or this whatever <laughs> and then these ones i'm really excited about these ones um this is a tag with a pocket made from just one piece of six by six yes and it's not decorated we're gonna decorate of course and then i made this and i've used a washi tape on this one Really, really like it. Why did I use washi tape? Because it's single-sided paper and I do not want the, the backs to be white. So this is actually uh, three pockets. Because you have a pocket here, you have a pocket here, and you have a pocket here. And if you glue it on, you have another pocket. So four pockets from one piece of 6x6 six six and some washi tape. I think this is going to be cool. Really, really cool. So... Let me show you the supplies that I'm using today, other than 6x6 six six paper pads. Now guys, if you don't have 6x6, six six, but you have 8x8 eight eight or 10x10s, ten go on, go ahead, as long as they are square. I wouldn't do this with 12x12, 12 12 because then your pockets are going to be this big. <laughs> or just cut sizes that are 6x6. Six six. Okay, let me show you what I'm using. Obviously, I'm using 6x6 six six papers. I'm going to pick out a couple of pages of these. Now, this has been a collection over the past 6 or 7 years, guys. I did not buy these in one day. Uh, then, some washi tapes. This is just a small part of my huge collection. Again, I collected these over the years. Speaking of collecting uh, stuff, guys. And this is a piece of advice that I am happy to give you. At one point, please stop buying multiples of paper pads washi tapes and especially the cheap ones because uh with the washi tape they won't last long and these just take up a lot of room a lot of space and um they make me sad they actually make me sad now because these are all the ones that well i have a, a bit more than these because some of them i even have double uh and these are the ones that are sort of of brands that i have yeah and I love these ones, like five or six, way better than the gazillion that I have from the other ones. So yes, if you're a starter, a beginner, pick up one or two, maybe three to play with, to practice with. Same with the washi tapes. But then at some point, if you're confident enough to make be more beautiful pro projects, use better quality um, items. I just recently started doing this and i am very very sad that i have not started doing that 
way earlier and have not invested in all of this. Yeah. So, and end of notification <laughs> for the other tools. I'm using scissors glue. You don't even need to have this glue. You can use other glue, regular glue. Uh, I want to make holes in, in my tag. So I have a punch. Any punch will do. Maybe I'm going to do some corner rounding. I want to make notches in pockets. Not even necessary. I'm going to use my circle punch for this. I might do some uh, distressing, some inking. Not really know when, but maybe, maybe I might. And for decorating, I don't know yet. Uh, let's just see how far we'll get with making um, all these lovelies. Yes. So we're going to make bases first and then we're going to decorate. Let's start. I think I created sort of a palette. Yes, these are the papers that I'm using. Oh, they all sort of coordinate. It's like greenish, grungy, olive, you know, all sorts. And then also um, took out some of these lovely washi tapes. Again, sort of color coordinated. And uh, if I'm going to do, be doing any inking, it's going to be vintage photo. Now, guys, I forgot to mention for making the envelopes, you need um, a ruler. And a pencil just to make some markings but you know ruin a pencil okay um i'm going to start with the um, with the envelopes you probably see me do this a couple of times i'm just going just in case just in case you haven't seen it i'm going to make some envelopes yes for this you're gonna need a ruler and pencil flip your page over and have it diagonally yeah what you're gonna do is make a mark you're gonna Attach these two points together. Yes, just, you know. Put a line here. Why? Because we want to find the center. Yes, so if we do this. Just aligning your ruler with these two points. You have the center. Here's the center. Yeah? Okay. Once you've done that, we're going to fold. It's not origami, guys. It's going to be rather simple. This point needs to meet up with the center. So fold it to the center. Very easy. This one as well. To the center. Yes. And do this with pencil because uh, it would be nice if you can erase this line. <laughs> now, we're going to... Fold this up again, but not to the center, a little bit higher than the center. So we're going to fold using this line as sort of a guideline. Put the, uh, your corner on this line, like half an inch above the rest. So you actually need to make a fold here. Yes, see? This is like quarter inch or something like it. Something or other. Yeah, so this is going to be the bottom of my envelope. I'm folding it open again. This is going to be the flap. And I'm going to do the same thing. Maybe a little bit further even. Lining the corner up. Yes, this point with the line that we made. Just fold it. Well, we're almost there. Et voila. See? Now, what I like to do is take out these small sort of pyramid shapes. Yes, if you have this one, I'm just going to do one with this and then one with just scissors. If you have the, um, the envelope punch thingy, you can use this. Well, hopefully, because very flimsy paper. Yes, it works. You can use this. I'm going to make another one, guys. And that one I'm going to make just with scissors. This just leaves for a sort of a nicer, nicer edge. Yeah, this is going to be the flap. Yes, now this sticks out. You can leave it like this. What I usually do is just fold it in a tiny bit so that th this edge is straighter. See, like this. Oh, I also prefer my flappy thingy over here to have a rounded corner. Let's just see. There you go. Actually, it needs to be a little bit, a little bit higher. There you go. See? Okay, now I erase this part. And you need some glue. I'm just going to use this glue. If you have any other glue that draws a, a fine line, use that one. 
if you're going to use glue stick, be very careful not to put too much on. Just line of glue here and here. Yes. And you glue it on. There you go. Voila. Bob's your uncle. I'm going to do another one. And then I'm just going to use the technique with the scissors. Again. Lining these up. One. Now this only works if your paper is uh, a perfect square. Yeah. Otherwise, not so much. Not so much. Fold it into the middle. Fold this into the middle. You can mass make these guys in any sort of shape as long as it's a square. Folding this one up. There you go. And then folding this one down, following the line in the center. Yeah, folding it open again. I'm just going to snip these small pyramids out with my scissors, with my enormous scissors. I don't need these enormous scissors. For some reason, these just work better for me. They're sticky, I probably, oh yes, I cut some, something that was glued or something with tape. I need to have like a goo gone. That is something I see Gail use all the time, but I've never found it in the Netherlands. Sort of something that you use to clean your scissors with, so the, the, sticky, the sticky parts will disappear. Goo gone, I think it's called goo gone. Be gone with you, goo. Uh, what was the top? Let's have this as the top. Folding this in. There you go. Glue here. Eraser here. Yep. Round this corner. Not necessary at all, guys. If you don't have a corner rounder, no worries. And then just glue here and here. Don't put glue here, guys. Don't put glue here. And here. Ta-da. Envelope number two. Yes. Gonna do one coin pocket. As for the coin envelopes, even easier, guys. Flip it over. Yes gonna fold it a little bit towards the center it doesn't need to be precise just as long as it's straight straight would be nice yes and I'm gonna fold this one again overlapping it just a tiny bit doesn't need to be that much like a quarter of an inch or something like it there we go yes lovely okay now the bottom part I'm gonna fold up again um, you can fold it open and then fold it up. I rather fold it up, you know, like this. A uh, quarter inch. This all depends on how big uh, your paper is and how heavy your paper is. If you have a little bit, you know, the better stuff <laughs> that is a little bit heavier, um, fold it open and then fold this up, right? Because that'll be much, much easier. This is going to be the bottom. This is going to be the flap that goes down. So I'm going to fold this a little bit further, of course. Yes, like so. No worries if this happens, guys. We're going to fix this. We're going to fix this. This is about almost an inch, three quarter inch, almost an inch. Folding it open again. Yes. I'm hoping you can see where I made the fold. There's this sort of rectangle here, here. And bigger rectangles on the top. Now, take out your scissors. Yes. We're going to cut at an angle from this side. Yes, not from that side. That won't work. That's a mistake that I made in, in the beginning. From this side. Yes, like so. We want to cut this piece off. But I always cut this also at a little bit of, a, of an angle. So start a little bit wider here. And then cut towards what we cut before. See? A little bit at an angle. Same on the other side. From the inside. There you go. And then here. Yes. On the top you can do um, a straight flap. Flap with rounded corners or snipped flap. 
what I'm going to do first, I'm going to cut this at an angle again. This angle can be a little bit wider than the one on the bottom because it will create of an, a more of an opening. Yeah, like this. Now, I am just going to cut them oh, at an angle again. I'm just going to cut them at, at an angle. Now, if you want to be precise, yes, you put this here as a template. Yeah, and cut this off. At the same angle doesn't need to be lovies really it doesn't it really doesn't okay now so for, for the gluing uh i really want this to be on top of course see like so so i'm going to put glue on the ins on this inside here small strip for this you really need small small strip yes and a small strip over here yeah, you probably hear Jackson sort of complaining in the background. He sees stuff going on in the garden and he just wants to go. Yeah, we glued this and then we're going to glue the bottom. Now, if you want to do inking, do this before you do all the gluing, right? Because otherwise you can't reach it anymore. See? Cute little coin pocket. Yeah, I'm going to do one more quickly so that you can see. For the other one, I'm going to use the washi tape. Yes, let me explain why. This is white. We want this to have sort of a nice print on it. Yeah, we're going to do the same thing, the same basics. I am just going to fold this in like so. Yes, have the other piece overlap a little bit. Just the tiniest bit. Yes, again, this is very light paper. I've, I've seen... On most of the pads is like 100 grams so it's a little bit heavier the tiniest bit heavier than normal copy paper and there we go yes folding this over but not a lot I'm going to make the flap a little bit smaller than this one there we go why is this not working come on you can do this Okay, making the snippies, just as we did before. Nothing different here. Let me explain why I'm cutting this at an angle. If we did not do the folding well, like I usually do, <laughs> um, if you fold it up, it will sort of curl up underneath here and it will make for a bump and we don't want this. That's why I'm making always a small angle here. The angle on the top I am making because I want to have more of an opening yeah so i'm again no i'm not before i do this i want to put tape on here i am going to put on the tape that is a little bit wider than this or bigger yeah because we also want to see the tape here i think i want to pick this one i think it goes really well with this or the one with the gold foil oh no that's a bit much i'm just gonna put a, st a strip of tape all over this yes why because i have a gazillion tapes and i need to use them see this is an aliexpress tape and i think aliexpress is just fine if you're starting out but at one point they go bad really really fast it's just really bad quality and i tend to not reach for them anymore hopefully this isn't really really gone too far uh, I don't think so okay here it comes there's a trick that you can put it in a microwave and then heat it so it will stick again never tried that guys I'm mm, thinking this enough it is really sticky so don't have to glue it again I'm just lining it up I need to stand up because otherwise I can't see with the top you don't have to reach all the way to the ends because we're gonna cut this anyway yeah and here's why my glue my why my scissors get sticky <laughs> because because of this right i'm going to uh, flip it over because now i can still see the lines i'm going to cut this at an angle here's one i'm gonna cut this one straight 
cut over here again at an angle and cut straight. See, if we fold it in now, we have a lovely decorated piece. There's still tape on here. Also, I think I'm going to cut this one a little bit more. So they line up a little bit better. There you go. This needs to go. Yes. See? It's just cute. Shall we do strippy here? Well, we can. We sure can. I am going to glue it down first. Okay, guys. Putting glue here. Yes. Just on the outer points. tape left here and there you go yeah do you want to use the same tape are we see it's already tearing again rubbish tape rubbish tape that's okay I'm just gonna tear it a little bit more Because why not? Oh yeah, that looks that looks great. I'm just gonna put it on here, flipping it over. Flipping this over. Oh it looks amazing. I love it. It's a coin envelope with coins. <laughs> just now realized. Oh yes, the puns, the puns. Um I am inking this one. Should have inked here before I glued it down. Yes, I know. So do as I say, not as I do. Do you want the round corners here? Don't even think so. I'm just gonna have these straight. Yes, inking this bit before I glue it down. Now I can glue it down. Great. Ooh, love it. I'm loving this one. Yes. Thinking, thinking. Just a bit. Already has coffee stains on it. I think it looks great. It looks great, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, this looks like really expensive designer paper. But we just put washi tape on. Really cool. Loved it. This is going to be another simple one. I want um, corner pockets, like angle pockets, yes? We just need to cut this in half. You could do it with a ruler and a knife, scissors, or your, your paper cutter. Now, you know me, guys, I am rubbish with uh, scissors, but it can be done with scissors. I am just taking out my paper cutter. I am sorry. I am sorry. I did not mention using a paper cutter, but, you know, I have it, and it cuts really, really straight. Okay, well, you could you could be done, but uh, we are not because I, when I make these pockets, I really want sort of the the entrance of the pocket to be really really sturdy and just a nice with a nicer fold. So I am basically gonna fold all three of these sort of um, corners with just a fold of like quarter of an inch. If you do it a little bit more, then your pocket's going to be smaller. That's also really fine. You can have smaller pockets. No worries. Folding it open. Doing this one again. Yes. Folding it open and doing it again. Preferably sort of all with the same size. Yeah. I'm going to do some snippies. The snippy on the bottom is the, the easiest. There's this um, square here. I want to make snippy from this side and from this side. Again, at an angle, they call they call this mitering. Yes. Now this is a little bit more difficult. They have you have a diamond shape here. Yes. I'm going to cut below it towards the diamond shape. Also on the other side towards the diamond shape. So actually gonna end up with like an aeroplane, or if you're a trekkie, a Star Trek thingy. <laughs> Okay, again, diamond shape, mitering it from this side 
and from the other side. There you go. So now when we fold them in again, I've taken out a bone folder, guys, because I really want them to be very, very smooth. I have a little bit of an issue here. Yes, so I need to cut this a little bit more. Yes. I just find the edge of the paper to be way more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, so I'm just going to glue them down. Now, what you can do if you want to make this into a pocket that is that needs to hold a lot of pieces, guys, here's a trick. Oops. Oh, this is Bart. This is Bart. Art would have been done by now. Yes. Don't glue this down uh, to the paper, to this piece of paper. Have them like so and then glue these two parts to the paper. That will leave a lot of room, see? So there's going to be a lot of room in the pocket. For this, for the video purpose, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to glue them down. Then it will hold some papers, lovies. No worries. But if you don't do that, um, it will be a pocket that has a lot more room to put stuff in. But most of my journals already have so many pockets. I don't need to put all my stuff into one pocket. <laughs> See? Yeah. It's really simple. But I find this to be way more exciting than just a cut paper. See? If you want to use some tape, you can use some tape. Let's do that with this one. Yeah? I am going to have this as the entrance of the pocket. I am, however, going to make this pocket a little bit smaller. So I'm going to fold this up like three quarters of an inch. There you go. Or more like half an inch. And then this one. There you go. The same. The same. Not doing anything to this. Mitering over here. Yep. Mitering over there. Yes. Just going to cut this off. There you go. Same on the other side. Cutting this off. Now what I want to do is put some tape here. Yes. More flowers? I don't know. Oh, the gold. Oh, yes. Let's do the gold. Let's do the gold. I am going to put the tape a little bit over the pocket and then fold it in. So half of it is going to be on this side and half is going to be on the other side. Yes, we have some stuff sticking out, but that's why we have scissors. If your scissors are sticky, lovies, you can also use alcohol. to. Um, that's what I use to sort of clean, clean them. There you go. Oh, look at that. Lovely, right? Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm going to glue these down. Again, if you want to have deeper pockets, glue these down when you put them on a page. At the end result, I will take out a journal and show them uh, show them on a page. Oh, lovely. You can have it like so or like so. I think it is gorgeous. I was going to make this pocket, but I think it's boring. So I'm going to make something... Way more exciting. Way more exciting. Uh, okay, guys. I've taken out a piece of uh, my paper. Yes. And I'm folding it in. Half. Folding this in half. Yes. Okay. Folding it open again. And now what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold this. A piece of this. Just a corner. To the other side. Small corner. So like half of the, half of the half, half of the half. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you don't have the large tapes, just take out the small tape. That's quite all right. So I'm putting on a piece of tape. On this edge over here, just to decorate it, guys. It's just for decoration. 
Uh, well, you can glue this down or use the tape to glue it down. <laughs> Just going to glue it down. Yes. Folding the tape in. Because that makes, makes for a much nicer effect. There you go. Yes. Then, going to fold this in. Yes. Going to fold this back first. Straight up until the point where the tape is. Now, if you use um, bigger tape, you can fold it back a little bit further. I'm just going to fold it in. Yes, like so. But then I'm going to fold it back again. On itself. Oh, love the colors. There you go. Yes, guess what we made? Double pocket. Pocket here, pocket here. The only thing we can do now, we, ha we, can, we have to do now, is glue this down. Oh, it's the simplest of simple, guys. And then uh, put glue here. And on the bottom. Now, there are way more variations on this project than what I'm showing now, guys. But this is going to be beginner tutorial. So I'm just going to do the be beginner part. Pocket, pocket. Double pocket. Just really cute. Want to see a quick sort of advanced tutorial? Pull this up. Another pocket. But we're going to do that with the tags. Love this. Want to do one more? Yes, let's just do one more. I'm going to do this one with the bigger tape. Fold it in half. If you don't, if you have double-sided paper, you don't even need this trick. But, you know, most of my paper is not double-sided. No. Making a fold. Yes. Are we taking out this one with the gold foil? Oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Hopefully it works. Because honestly, all I'm using now is the very cheap AliExpress tape or even action tape. Well, action tape, I don't tend to buy at all. And if you do have AliExpress tape, use it right away. Don't hoard it. Hoard the good stuff, not the cheap stuff. See, there we go. Some glue here. Fold this in and fold this in. Yep. Let's see how deep. Oh, well, you can have a way deeper pocket. See this? Oh, that looks so cool. If you hear some snoring in the back, yes, that's my lovely Daisy. She's, of course, very tired of, uh, well, all the sleeping that she's been doing. <laughs> all of all the sleeping. Fantastic. Now, if you want to, you can also put tape here. No worries if you want to. Shall we put some tape on the bottom? Yes. I'm going to make this one way more lovely. <laughs> Doing a little bit of inking here before we close it up. Yeah. Uh, we're gluing here. Yes, because we're going to close it here. And here as well. Yes, and this is totally unnecessary. This is just decorating. But I really like this tape. And I'm just going to put it... Half? No, I'm going to put it straight on. Flush to, against the bottom. It, this is just decoration, guys. Here you go. On here. On here. A little bit of inking here. Et voila. Ooh! Tell me you don't love this. Love this! Now for the tags that I'm most excited about, um, I'm using this piece of paper. This is actually a little bit heavier paper. This is from um, a paper pad that I found at a thrift shop that normally was a little bit more expensive, but I paid probably 75 cents for it or something like it. Okay, we're going to fold it in, not all the way to the edge, guys, just yeah, leaving a little room, like an inch or so. There you go. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to fold this one in. You can leave a, little, uh, uh, leave a little bit of room in between, guys. Just as long as this one doesn't curl up. Like so. Because this is heavier paper. I'm taking out a bone folder. Yes. Right, so. 
um i want to have a nice edge on here so that's why i'm using some washi tape contrasting color mm, why not i'm gonna pick a contrasting color mm, there you go oh look at all the words oh and the number are we gonna see the number yeah well I'm, i am no it's gonna be on the other side i'm gonna not do you see the numbers i'm gonna flip it over <laughs> I'm gonna flip it over. Let's see, is it on there? Yeah, so I'm going to put half of it on this side and half of it on the other side. Or sort of half of it, just, you know, eyeball it. Yeah. Just pulling it over. Does this work? Don't, don't even try, love. Just cut it off. Just cutting off the ends. Ta-da! See? Oh, that looks lovely! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Great. Um, what I want to do now is glue this piece to itself you don't need it well you don't need this guys you just need glue stick there you go yes i want to put another piece on here just for decorating Just for a piece of decoration. Because oh, why not? Yeah, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. Cool. Now, what we need to do is make, before I glue this down, make a tag shape. Yeah? Cutting a piece off like so, using it as a template. Putting it against the other side. Yes. Cutting it again. Now we're going to do some gluing. I want to glue here. A tiny bit on the top. And the bottom. Or bottom. <laughs> Not bottom. Oh, it's already so lovely. It's already so lovely. Yes. Love it a bunch. I would prefer art for this because art would have glued it down by now. There you go. Now all we want to do is put a hole here. Eyeballing the middle. As per usual. Et voila. You have a tag with a pocket. You can put something in. See, you can, you can put something in. It is just lovely. Yes. And it's also nice on the back. Yeah, you could do some decorating and such. If you want to have this as a pocket, you can use it as a pocket. Yes, don't don't angle the, the top. Glue it on. Then you have a pocket and a pocket. If you want to. I just wanted to make some lovely tags. Yes, I want to make another one. I want to make this one. Yes, sort of the same. Uh, well, not really. It's completely different. <laughs> fold it in half. Just fold it in half. Like so. Line it up. Yeah. Yes. And then you fold this piece off. Just a piece. Not in half. Just, you know. Just uh, the height of the pocket that you want to have. Yeah. Like so, like so. But I want to have notches in here. And when I make notches, you see the white in the back. I do not want to see the white in the back. I want to have a notch here, which means I also want to have tape here. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape there. Um, this. Just needs a bit. Took 
took out a piece that is way too long. I didn't need this big of a piece, but that's quite all right, yes. So when we fold this pocket up, this is going to be the front, yes? Yeah? So the notch is going to be here, which means the tape needs to be here. So I'm keeping my finger here because this can be sort of, you know, tricky. Now, if you have tape that is directional, like on this one, yes, be sure you have the right size up. This is not really directional, this is just flowers and gears and what have you. There you go. I'm just putting a piece up. Can we fold it in? Mm, yes, we can. Yeah, can we? Yes, we can. Alrighty then. Taking out... Um, I'm going to take out a bigger one. Because I actually want to have sort of a bigger notch. I'm not going to put it all the way in. Just... For a tiny bit. Oh, let's see. Because this is going to go up. So we need to have it a little bit higher. That didn't want to cut well. Because it's very flimsy paper. There you go. Yeah. And then we want one here. Hopefully this will work better. Not really. I think also my punch might be a little bit dull. So we need to punch it a couple of times with aluminum foil or aluminium foil or you know foil. <laughs> Great. Oh lovely. Yes, I'm gonna have another piece of tape somewhere on the bottom. First, first gluing, love. First gluing. <laughs> okay, gonna glue this pocket down first. So we need some glue here. Yeah, so now we glue these together. Then I'm going to glue here and here to create a second pocket. And there you go. Love this paper. It's like a uh, burlap burlap paper yes I am going to make it into um, a tag shape with this one I also put some tape on the other side I did not do it with, with this one that's okay I'm going to decorate it in a different manner tag shape yes so now we need to put glue here, here, and here. Yep. Do you want to put a piece of tape on the top? Maybe, perhaps. Oh, that's nice. Butterfly upside down. We don't. We do not want upside down butterflies. No. Nope. This is completely optional, guys. I'm just uh, putting some more tape on for decorating purposes. So some here, and probably some on the bottom as well. Just some decorating with tape to make it look lovely. And then eyeballing the middle. Ta-da. have a small piece of paper? I don't, but I'm going to use this. You have a pocket here, you have a pocket here, and you have a pocket here. Yeah? And if you glue it on, on a piece of paper, hello, yes, you also have a pocket here. If you wanted to. So cool. Guys, for the straight ones, that are really straightforward, uh, it's the same principle. You just cut a piece, you know, in half, and then you do all the folding, like we did with the triangle. All the folding, mitering it. Then you can make a notch, yes? Or don't fold the top part, like we did with... Where's the other one? I should have two of these. Yeah. Uh, don't fold the top part, but then use the tape. 
see so you have a nice straight straight edge so that's the principle with these ones okay i am going to show you because we made lots and i did a little bit of decorating guys i'm going to show you the end result here they are Yes, they were six by six pieces of paper. And we made all sorts of different ephemera pieces from it. It doesn't even resemble six by six paper anymore. I just love it. Guys, it's a fantastic way to use up your uh, six by six. And also, if you are a beginner, to sort of practice on them. Don't be afraid to mess up because it's just paper and you probably paid nearly nothing for it. Um, I'm going to show you how these work on a, a page in a journal. I did decorate some of them a little bit more with just the washi tape. Just some simple decorating. You know, have it at an angle, like so. Put a piece here. Two more stripes here. Just, you know, you don't need all, to have all the bits and bobs and what have you. This is just a project with a washi tape and six by six now let me sort of take out a page let's do this one that's a lovely one i'm gonna start with the corner pockets it it does fit you can have it on like so or you can have it on like so you know you can flip it around unless it is directional or you did some decorating that uh requires some more attention to the direction now uh we glued this on the piece of paper underneath yes but if you want to have a, um, a pocket that will hold a little bit more bulk, don't glue this to the piece of paper below, but put glue here and here and just glue them on. It will create for a little bit more room. For the envelopes, yes, the envelopes are the only um, two pieces of paper that still have some white on the inside. Yes, I could have put very large tape on it but for instance let's say if you want to put this on a page i would put glue here put this on the other side yes you could even just put glue um here and here to have a pocket here or glue here so this would be sort of a tuck spot but i would only recommend that if this was a little bit heavier paper which it isn't and then you could just put some tape here we could have, we could have. But you can also um, sort of put it in with a paper clip or just use it as an envelope to send somewhere or put it in a pocket. Yes, pocket, envelope in. Yep, what else did we make? Oh yeah, the coin envelopes. The coin envelopes. Um, I usually put them in with a paper clip because uh, I like the fronts and the backs of these. But what you can also do, and then you don't even need to put tape here, is just to glue this piece over the top and have this as a flip up. See? And then you can put something in. I do that sometimes. But you can also glue it on two sides here and have this as sort of a tuck spot. So you have a pocket here and pocket there. Same as with the other one. Then we have these and I really like, really, really like. Yes. Um, glue them on here and here. Then you have a tuck and a pocket. Or glue them on here, here, and here. So you have two small, tall pockets. I don't know, guys. Whatever tickles your fancy. Whatever you want to do. I'd put, just put some tape here. Yeah, right? Yes. If you want to have the pockets, you know, on the other side, you should have folded it on the other side. Yes? So I folded it in like, like so, and then you fold it in like so. If you're going to mass make them, um, alter between the two styles. Same with this one. Now the pockets are on here, but you also could have had it on the other side. Love this tag a bunch. You can use it as a tag in a pocket to put something in. Or again, glue it on two sides. I would glue this on two sides because otherwise it would be a very small pocket. This one, if you glue it on, yes. I would glue it here, here and here on three sides. Pocket, 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 pocket. Four pockets, one piece of paper. Fantastic, right? Yes. What do you need? Six by six, washi tape, glue scissors. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope all the beginners were cutting and gluing. And uh, again, um, if you're making these, let me know. Yes. Tag me on Instagram. Send me an email. Or if you have a channel, just, you know mention me i will have go have a look guys i hope you enjoyed it i really enjoyed it i want to make way way more than this because you've seen my collection of six by six um and also i'm going to have a little bit of a think about what else we can make with these yes but that's another video i'll be back again tomorrow 
Tomorrow in the Netherlands it's King's Day. It's King's Day. We celebrate the king's sort of birthday. It is sort of a national thing. It's a celebration, um, and I'm gonna do, I'm going to explain in tomorrow's video uh, during a making of project. I don't know what I'm making, but it's going to be lovely, for sure, for sure. I hope you can join me then. Until then, bye guys.